Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a digital paper pastel. So I personally love brightly colored digital papers, but if you prefer a more pastel look, then this is a way that you can quickly tweak it. So you can do this with a digital paper that you have made yourself or with one that you have purchased. So as an example, let's use one from my other Etsy shop, which is called Paper Cravings. Use this nice bright uh, rainbow stripe. So navigate to where you've got the digital paper saved on your computer and then left click and drag and drop it into Photoshop. So now we need to do is create a new layer. So click this button down here and then go to the shape tool. I prefer to use the rectangle because it's easier. So right click and make sure you've got the rectangle tool selected. You want to change your fill color to white and doesn't matter about the stroke, which is a border around the shape. Now off the edge of your template up here, you want to left click and drag so that you've got this square on all sides covering it. And now you want to change the opacity. So at the moment it's 100%. If we drop that back to about 50, it's going to make our digital paper a lot lighter. If you don't want it that light, go with 30 and just reduce the opacity until you're happy with it. Um, personally, if you're going to go pastel, I wouldn't go any more than 50. I feel like that's like the most that I would go because after that it starts to get a bit washed out. See how that's not very nice. Um, so you just change the opacity when you're happy with the setting that you've chosen. Just press enter to apply the change. So now we've got this digital paper. If you had a whole lot of them that you wanted to make pastel, you would just bring each of them in. You can do multiple at once if you press control and then left click to select and then left click to drag and drop. And then when it's finished loading, press enter to place it and you'll just want to position these below that rectangle that we created. So if you left click on that layer, so now it's highlighted in blue, and then left click and drag your mouse up above them. You can just hide and unhide the layers of the digital papers that you want to recolor. So if you're going to do a whole collection that you've purchased from somewhere or that you've made because a customer's requested a pastel look, then you can just do them quickly all at once. So now that we have made it pastel, we can save it. So just go File, Save As, and make it a JPEG file. And then I would personally just go like dash P for pastel. You can put any like numbering coding, you could put 0.2 or whatever you want to put, change it to JPEG and hit save and then that will save it for you. And then you would come back, unhide that layer. Now you've got this next one, do the same thing, go to file, save as, change the file type to JPEG, whoops, yep, JPEG, and not JPEG 2000, I was just go with JPEG and then rename it. Make sure that you rename because if you don't, it's going to override the original file. So if I accidentally forget to rename it this is going to be lost and it's going to have this one instead so very very important that you rename the file that's it that's how you do a pastel pattern hope you found this quick video helpful and if you are looking for more photoshop tutorials i have a ton um, in my e-courses both free and paid i'll include the link below as well as my blog and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with new videos when they're added to my youtube channel so hit that subscribe button below and thanks for watching. Bye.